the first one is sort of a follow-up to uh, a topic I addressed last week, which is qualified immunity for cops. This basically means that they can't... Qualified immunity, like, prevents people from suing police departments and law enforcement uh, over civil suits. Uh, so, like, one of the examples that the articles like to use is, like, if there's a high-speed chase and a cop comes through and, you know, hits your car or something or knocks your side-view mirror or something like that, you can't sue the cop for damages. Um, and really what they use this for is, is police brutality. That's where a lot of the cases are. Uh, they're, they're in the overuse of force within law enforcement, and we've seen a ton of that throughout the country. And qualified immunity has become a major topic of conversation because of uh, all the protests and the demonstrations that we've seen all across the country in regards specifically to police brutality that uh, this summer was uh, ramped up by uh, the shooting of George, or I'm sorry, not the shooting, the, the uh, murder of George Floyd when Derek Chauvin was on his neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds. Not only that, but you also had the shooting of Breonna Taylor in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, Ahmaud Arbery uh, was, was not shot by cops, but he was shot by uh, two racists. Uh, and, uh, and then recently we saw Jacob Blake get shot in the back seven times and now is paralyzed and is in pain constantly. So, uh, you know, qualified immunity protects the police officers who did that sort of stuff who use this excessive force. And last week we talked about how Virginia had uh, put out a bill to r uh, get rid of qualified immunity for police officers so that they can be prosecuted for this sort of stuff. And uh, unfortunately now the bill is dead. As of now the bill is dead in Virginia. So last week it looked like it was going to go through. It looked like it was going to pass the House. Um, and it didn't pass the House at first. At first, it lost by like a thin margin, um, and there were two Democrats. One abstained from voting, and uh, so so you know the the person that wrote the legislation had to talk to them, and and they were going to try to reconsider because it was back up on the House um, on Tuesday last week, I believe, and uh, that's that's kind of where I picked up the story. So it really seemed like it was going to go through, and everything was going to we, we were gonna, it was going to get pushed into the Senate. Uh, and, and face its challenges there, but uh, one of the one of the Democrats that voted against this bill in Virginia basically said, "Well, um, you know, uh, we really have to think about this. We don't want people suing cops over frivolous lawsuits." I, and I feel like that is a very out of touch statement to make, <laughs> right? Like, because because they're not suing people over frivolous lawsuits. The, the, this is. This is specifically for excessive force that cops use. So it's important to have this. It's important to revoke qualified immunity so that cops can be prosecuted under the law that they're supposed to represent. They're not supposed to be above the law. They're supposed to uh, be a part of it. And uh, this person was saying that, oh, it opens the doors and it makes things more difficult on the local level because now local cops might be sued for frivolous things. And really, like, again, it's kind of a toned-up statement because where do you think some, a lot of these shootings are happening? A lot of these problems are coming from the local level, right? In Minneapolis and Louisville and Wisconsin, those were, those, were, those were local cops that were doing this. Minneapolis City Cops, the Louisville Police Department, in, uh, the Kenosha Police Department. Even here in Pittsburgh, uh, the, the shooting of Antoine Rose was Pittsburgh cops. They were city cops. You know, it, it, this isn't qualified. Like, right now, we're not talking about federal level police at the moment. Uh, we're talking about local law enforcement. And with something like qualified immunity, and, there, and there's a bunch of different stuff, right? Like, there, there was a Virginia, I think, I believe the mayor of Virginia Beach was, and the sheriff of, in Virginia Beach was basically like, oh, you know, my police officers don't even know about qualified immunity until, you know, they, they, they have to use it. Which is awful because it, it, that, that just means that cops have a, a, this sense of superiority without, qualified, without the knowledge of qualified immunity even. So they're just, they're just 
misusing their power just because and now you add qualified immunity on top of it and they learn about it and they go oh shit I'm going to be protected not just by an overpowered police union but also also by the the legislative branch oh this is great so you know it, it, it lets them use the kind of force that they want to it lets them do whatever they feel like they need to do um, in order to get away with using excessive force and things of that sort so it so it's a tone deaf statement but but then she came back and you know voted uh, to revoke it she came back and she changed her mind and then the person that abstained changed their mind so it got through on the house it made it through on the house but barely but it made made it through on the house and um, and then it went into the Virginia Senate went into the Virginia Senate and once it got to the Virginia Senate there was a Senate Judiciary Committee uh, and they they revoked it they they killed the bill 12 to 3 so it didn't even go into the Senate to 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 be voted on and again you know the the sheriff's department and stuff were like oh this this is great because now local law enforcement doesn't have to face frivolous lawsuits which it like when has that ever fucking been a thing when have we seen these frivolous lawsuits against law enforcement that has made this big news like it never has if you know it's like we we take the minority of the events and 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 then we make the like they use that argument for for killer cops, and they're like, "Oh, this is just a, a one rotten apple, right?" Which they misquote that because one rotten apple ruins the whole bunch. Like, oh, but it's just you, we can't judge the entire force by by these by this one rotten apple. But here we are making a judgment that if there is a small small percentage of lawsuits against police officers that are frivolous lawsuits. You're making a judgment call about that. And, and and now you're legislating on behalf of that too. Kind of a bullshit claim. Like I, it, it's a, This is not like suing McDonald's for a hot cup of coffee. Oh, the co- they were just too hot, these cops. Ugh. Only if these cops were less hot, things would have been different. And, uh, you know, and then they're c- coming out and saying, oh, you know, the, the bill's not, o- we, the fight still goes on, like, you have to support your law enforcement because uh, th- this is not the last time we'll, we'll, see, we'll see this bill. And uh, I, hope, I hope not either. I hope that, you know, some of these fucking Democrats in Virginia girl with spine and push back against the Senate Judiciary Committee in in Virginia and I hope that Democratic voters in Virginia will also grow a backbone and push back against their representatives and their senators to say that this is something that needs to be uh, put into legislation we need to get rid of qualified immunity for police officers I, I would I would wager to bet if I was a betting man I would bet uh, that if you ask most of the people in Virginia whether or not qualified immunity should be revoked for police officers you gave them all of the information the unbiased information give them the percentage of quote unquote frivolous lawsuits Versus the percentage of cases that have gone all the way up to the Supreme Court dealing with police brutality. And uh, inhumane actions by the police. I would wager to bet that most, most average American citizens would uh, vote to, to, to ban qualified immunity. I, w- I, I really would. And then the legislators would make a law and clearly state none of that legal horse shit, none of that legal mumbo jumbo horse shit that we are revoking qualified immunity. So if you kill an unarmed civilian, if you kill somebody, 
uh, by, by the use of excessive force or, or by shooting them, then you are going to be prosecuted by the full extent of the law. If you, uh, if you are reckless and you do put people in danger, you do cause them property damage, that you can't get away with that. That is collateral. That, that, you know, it's, it's the same rhetoric that they use in terms of war. It's collateral damage. It's what they say in war, right? It's, all, it's collateral damage. This is war. It's collateral damage. Well, these are civilians. We're not in a war. But the cops are trained to think that we are. I've talked about that several times before. And I have outlined a couple different... Um, I did a dispatch uh, maybe in, in July, June or July. can't remember exactly when I did it. Talking about qualified immunity. Because the Supreme Court said they're not going to overturn it. That liberal Supreme Court that everybody wants to say, oh, we got to vote, we got to vote Joe Biden so that he puts a, a liberal in the courts and they'll, they'll put all these progressive ideas in place, which, which they won't. You know, and this happened just when at the same time where they said, oh, you can't be fired from a job if you're uh, a mem- member of the LGBTQ community, which, yeah, you shouldn't be fired for your lifestyle choice. That, the, the, that lifestyle choice per- does not affect your job. It should be based on the quality of your work. So you can't be discriminated against, which is great. That's awesome. But it was overshadowed. Uh, that, that overshadowed the, the fact that they banned qualified immunity. And I, I talked about that in a dispatch, and I kind of outlined that. So that so that video is available on uh, on the channel. But you know that that's the sort of stuff that happens. There was nothing distracting um, away from this. This is just straight up the Virginia Senate saying, "No, we're going to keep it in place. We're we're going to let these cops do what they want." Gets in the way of gets in the way of policing. Well, then maybe we should redefine what policing is. Hey, what's up, everybody? Thank you so much for tuning into this video. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure you like it. Please make sure you share it. And please make sure you are subscribed to this channel, whether you're watching this on the YouTubes, whether you're watching this on Facebook or uh, or Rockfin, which is the cryptocurrency blockchain platform. It's ad-free, and make sure that content creators get paid for the content that they want to make. It's completely uncensored. Whether you're on any of these channels, make sure that you are subscribed and following me for uh, all new video updates. There are uh, videos uh, put up on this channel on a weekly basis, anywhere from four to six videos every single week. Uh, they include uh, news commentary. They include sociopolitical com- comedy commentary, uh, rants, uh, current event stuff, interviews, stand-up comedy clips, There's a ton of stuff that's available on this channel. Uh, And if you want to come see one of my live virtual stand-up comedy shows called The Citizen Revolution Live Virtual Stand-Up Comedy Show, you can grab tickets directly off my website at krishmohanhaha.com. That's K-R-I-S-H-M-O-H-A-N-H-A-H-A.com. While you're there, you can also become a sustaining member to get free tickets to these shows uh, uh, and a bunch of cool other uh, bonus stand-up comedy clips uh, while you're at it, and uh, you or you can make a one-time donation as well uh, if if that is something that that you would like to do. If the sustaining membership is something that you can do, I know we're in tough times right now, uh, but if you can, that'd be awesome. If not, that's cool too. But the big thing to do is make sure that you are liking it, you are sharing this, and you are subscribed to the channel. Till next time, thank you so much, and we'll see you on the road.